Here's the deal. Food is fuel. When it comes to being fit, when it comes to peak performance, your diet, your nutrition, the stuff that you consume, how you fuel your body, it's a huge part of the puzzle. And you have to pay attention to it. You can't outwork a bad diet. Just plain and simple. Now, when it comes to being fit, when it comes to being a peak performer, I know a few things. My name is Bobby Maximus. I fought in the UFC. I won in the UFC. I won submission of the night in the UFC. I've won multiple Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Master titles. Men's Health named me one of the 100 fittest men of all time. I'm actually featured regularly in the magazine. I was also a feature in the Train Like a Celebrity series. It was a video series that Men's Health put out, along with people like The Rock, Chris Helmsworth, uh, Tom Hopper, Method Man. It's an incredible video series if you want to check it out. And being featured alongside those people, it was a highlight of my career. I've trained people that play in the NBA, trained people that play in the NFL. I've worked with almost every tier one asset in the United States military. And I've worked with some of the best and brightest corporate leaders in the world. Like really when it comes to fitness, I've done it all. Now, a big part of my platform is eating real food. You've probably heard me before talk about the 90-10 rule. 90% of the food you eat needs to be non-processed. You need to be able to pluck it from a tree, you need to be able to get it from a garden, or you need to be able to kill it. So basically, we're looking at meat, vegetables, seeds, nuts, things like that. Completely unprocessed natural food. And then with the 10% left, you can go have a little fun. But really, when I think about diet, it goes far deeper than some internet meme, if you will, or, 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 or some hook, like the 90-10 rule. The reality is, and I said it to start this video, food is fuel. And it's going to fuel you in every aspect of your life. Like a lot of people think, because I've trained Olympians, because I trained professional athletes, because I've trained these tier one assets in the United States military, that I'm only talking about performance in sport or performance in, in I'm going to say like a task, right? But a lot of the people I train are also normal people. So when I talk about performance, I'm talking about performance in the everyday world. I'm talking about you being a better father, you being a better mother, you being a better partner, you being a better son, a better daughter, a, a better astronaut, a better, a, a better lawyer, a better dentist. Having more energy, having more energy to play with your kids, having more energy to go on dates, having more energy to do the things that you love, your hobbies on a day-to-day -day basis. Having a better sex drive, sleeping better, looking better, having better skin. Like all these things are measures of performance. And I'd love to tell you, being the fitness guy, that, that, that working out is the most important thing. But it's not. The food you put in your body is of the utmost importance. And it's something I've always believed. You know, growing up, uh, we didn't have a ton. I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. I didn't grow up with a trust fund. But I grew up in an Italian family. I have an Italian grandmother. and It was a very Italian-centric family. And we always made food from scratch. So when we had spaghetti, we weren't eating Chef Boyardee. We ate noodles that were made from scratch by hand. We didn't have sauce from a can. We had sauce that was made by hand that took hours. That real ingredients and frankly, a whole lot of love went into. When we ate meat, we weren't eating Lunchables. We weren't eating, you know, deli meat. We were eating real, genuine meat. And so growing up from a young age, the importance of, of ingredient quality was always instilled in me. And then when I started getting into training, that became extremely important because I could literally feel how my body would perform when fueled with different foods. Now, listen, I've ate some fast food in my life. There have been times in my life I've ate some bad food, but I paid for it. My workout the next day is terrible. My performance that, that next wrestling tournament, because I was a really high level wrestler, was terrible, right? I didn't feel good. I didn't sleep good. I didn't look good. My skin broke out. But when I was eating healthy, when I was fueling intelligently, 
everything worked right. I performed better. I won more. I had more energy. I slept better. I looked better. I felt better, like all of the things. And so for almost my entire life, and I'm 45 years old now, food quality, using food as fuel has been a major part of my life and a major part of my philosophy. And it's become a major part of my fitness philosophy. If I was to train you, sorting out your diet is literally the first thing that we do. But there's a lot of myths when it comes to healthy eating. A lot of people think that when you're eating healthy, you can't enjoy it. That's just not the case. Now, just I want to put something out there for a second. You know, going to Taco Bell, going to Wendy's, going to McDonald's, going to Pizza Hut, eating all this processed garbage, it's just going to make you perform really, really poorly. It's going to lessen your life expectancy. It's going to make you feel terrible. That's not eating quality. You know what's eating quality? Going to a Michelin star restaurant, going to a James Beard restaurant, going to some of the best chefs in the world and really indulging. That's what eating quality is. And guess what? Here's the kicker. They don't use processed food. They use real ingredients. They use the best of the best. So you go to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, you go to a Kat Cora restaurant, you go to a Naisha Arrington restaurant, you go to a Michael Voltaggio restaurant, you go to a Thomas Keller restaurant, you're going to get the best of the best. That's reality. So I'm not even asking you to sacrifice. I'm not asking you to eat chicken breast and broccoli. I'm asking you to eat a Michelin star, a James Beard style diet, like the best of the best, just eating pure ingredients. There's a problem with that though, right? You're watching this and you're saying, I didn't, I didn't go to French culinary school. I, I, I don't know how to cook. I, I don't work in a restaurant. Like, like, I don't even know how to make anything good at home. You can. You just need the right tool. And, and one of the tools like I'm really big on right now that I want to talk about because it's probably the best thing that I ever bought for myself. Uh, it's the Innova Precision Oven. Uh, it's, this, it's this oven that sits on my countertop and it's got a bunch of different functions. It's got a steam function. It's got a sous vide function. It's an air fryer. Uh, I can broil stuff in it. Like the reason I love it so much is because it's an all in one type of device. So I don't need like 16 or 17 or 18 things around my kitchen taking up space uh, uh, to cook. Like I can literally make everything I need to do with this one single oven. And and three of the functions that I really want to talk about with it. Um, and, and the reason I'm telling you this, because I think it can really help you. And it goes back to what I was talking about earlier. Eating healthy doesn't need to be not delicious. It doesn't need to be bland. It doesn't need to be boring. You just need the right tool and a little bit of know-how. In this oven, it's it's really changed the way that, that I cook. And it's really, really helped me in terms of convenience. So three things the oven does that I really want to talk about. Number one, it's got a steam function on it. And I love the steam function because I can steam broccoli, I can steam carrots, I can steam other vegetables, and it really helps preserve the nutrients in them and they taste delicious coming out. Like you steam some broccoli, pull it out, melt a little butter on it, put a little salt on it. It's absolutely incredible. The air fryer, and I use the air fryer all the time because even though I've just went on this like big... I don't know what we're at, eight, nine, 10 minutes right now. But even though I went on this little rant about food quality and, and, and you got to watch what you put in your mouth, like you're damn right. I like fast food. And sometimes I have a fast food itch that just needs to get scratched. And the air fryer, it fries up my potatoes. I do these crispy potatoes I have to tell you about. So you you put the potatoes in the, in the Innova and you use the, the steam sous vide function, right? And it cooks the potatoes in about 20 to 30 minutes. You pull them out, you mash them down with a little cup, you drizzle some olive oil, or one of my favorite things to do is some Wagyu beef fat on there with a little bit of salt. Uh, the salt I use is Malden salt right now, but there's a Redmond salt company out of Salt Lake that makes tremendous stuff too. You put a little thyme on it. They're absolutely incredible. They're better than any French fries you'll ever get. But the thing is, it scratches that fast food itch. So like I can fry things in the air fryer 
without adding all the nasty trans fat oil and frankly, without adding the empty calories from the oil, right? So so the, the air fry function, I absolutely love as well. And then the third thing I wanna talk about is the sous vide function. Listen, I love making steak. Uh, I, you know, and I, 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 there was a point I ate a steak a day every single day of my life for an entire year. And it's not far off of that right now. Like I'm having five, six steaks a week, but I'm really confident cooking a steak. Like if you give me a smoker, if you give me a grill, if you give me a pan, I can make you a world-class steak anywhere, anyhow, anytime. But that's not the case for everybody. A lot of people are scared to overcook it and there's nothing worse than eating an overcooked steak. So the sous vide function on the Sonova Precision Oven, it's unreal because you put the steak in, you stick the temperature probe in, you set it to 120 degrees. So it's going to come out rare, but we're going to sear it after. So it's going to come out of the Innova at the perfect temperature. You stick it on a cast iron pan, you sear it on each side. It is the perfect medium rare temperature and you have an absolutely delicious high class restaurant quality steak ready to be eaten. So like really what I'm trying to tell you is if you have the right tools, and again, this, this, this Nova thing's been awesome. It's like the best purchase I've ever made for myself. But if you have the right tools, just a little bit of know-how, and, and that's another thing with the Nova, the app, it's got all kinds of recipes on it. Uh, it gives you all kinds of instructionals and tutorials. Like it's a cinch to use. If you're scared of cooking, trust me, this is the thing you want to get because it's going to help you. But if you have the right tool and a little bit of know-how, you can eat delicious food and you can still fuel yourself intelligently for performance, for longevity. And I eat a far more decadent diet than people think. I just eat it from, from you know, pure, real ingredients. And on that note, one of the things I was actually talking to a chef buddy of mine today, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Food Network personality. We were just talking about just the guilt people have around the holidays, like when they overeat, when they indulge. But the funny thing is, is people in the, in the French countryside, people in the Italian countryside, they indulge all the time. They eat pasta, they eat butter, they eat cream, they eat rich, fatty meat. But the rates of obesity, there are extremely low because eat, people eat pure, real ingredients and they cook with love. They cook everything by hand. Like they're not eating fast food all the time. So you can indulge, you can enjoy, you can have some fun, but you can fuel yourself intelligently. You can use food as fuel and you can live your best life, both socially, like because food, listen, food is meant to be enjoyed. So you can enjoy your life in that regard. And then you can go enjoy your sport or your task or whatever you're trying to do by just performing at a world-class level. And it all starts with food.